to the projected college football playoff and New Year's Six. Now, this is more forward-looking. This is not all what have you done for me lately. This is we're, we're, we're predicting what might happen. The Big Ten prediction, a lot of you disagree with, I know. A lot of you are very angry when I say this every time. But I may be saying something different next week. We'll see. Or I may be doubling down. Sugar Bowl. Number one, Georgia versus number four, Oklahoma. That would be a fun game. You know, the last time they played the playoff game was pretty good. Maybe one of the best games ever. So I, I would love to see that. I, it would be a great gauge as Oklahoma heads into the SEC to see how they stack up against the best of the SEC. The Rose Bowl, another CFP semifinal. Number two, Penn State versus number three, Washington. Yes, this is me predicting Penn State will win the Big Ten. I realize many of you disagree. I realize the Ohio State Buckeyes probably disagree. And if I'm wrong, then they will prove me wrong this week. And then I'll say something different next week. That's that's the beauty of this stuff. But I've got Washington in here now. Now, you notice I didn't have Florida State and I didn't have North Carolina. This is, again, the primary problem with a 14 playoff and five power conferences. You can't get them all in. Now, they're not all going to finish undefeated. The, the champs of each league, they could conceivably finish undefeated, but I don't think that's going to happen. So it's going to be a little bit easier. It's all going to shake out in the end, I think. But that is one of the frustrating things, and it will take care of itself next year because it's going to 12. And effectively, there are going to be two, there will only be two power conferences, the SEC and the Big Ten. But right now, we're still in the old, the old system. And so somebody's got to get left out right now. And I Washington has the best win, so I put them in and I left the ACC champ out, which could be wrong. But again, it'll work itself out. I've got North Carolina and Alabama in the Peach Bowl. If North Carolina keeps playing this way, if they were to lose in the ACC championship game to Florida State, they would still wind up in a really nice game. In the Orange Bowl, Florida State and Michigan, this is the only one where a contract comes into play. The ACC champ has to be in this game if they're not in the playoff or the highest ranked ACC team that isn't in the playoff has to be in this game. So I've got Florida State there, Michigan, the, the highest ranked Big Ten team that didn't make the playoff, they go to that one. The Fiesta Bowl, I've got Air Force versus Oregon. Remember, the highest ranked group of five champ goes to one of these games. Air Force is undefeated now. They just beat Wyoming, which beat Fresno State. So Air Force in control of the Mountain West at the moment. It doesn't mean they're going to stay there. And you've got Tulane sitting out there in the American. They just beat Memphis. Tulane's only loss is to Ole Miss. So they're probably coming down to the Air Force champ or Tulane, or the, the Mountain West champ or Tulane. But we don't know. Got them against Oregon. And the Cotton Bowl, Texas and Ohio State. That'd be a fun one. That would be an absolute delight to watch at Jerry World. So I'd rather these games be playoff games. Tomorrow night, we'll project it as if it were the 12-team playoff starting this year. We do that every Monday night. But... I do think this is one of those times when it's it's potentially going to be really hard for the committee to decide between four and five because I don't, like I said, I don't think they're all going to finish undefeated. I don't think every Power Five champ will be undefeated, but I think there are going to be enough one-loss champs that they're going to have to make a decision to take one and, and, and drop one. And I don't envy that because I think the ACC at the top is better this year. The Pac-12 is as deep as it's ever been. Do you do it to Oklahoma or Texas if they have one loss? I It really is going to be difficult for that committee to, to decide. And the, the explanation's probably not going to be great. It's probably not going to satisfy you or anybody else. In fact, I think if I get, if I'm on the committee and I get pinned into that situation, I'm probably just saying, you know what? That's why we expanded at 12. So we don't have to make stupid decisions like this. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.